The FBI earlier today made the decision to make a general requ request to the public for information about the shooter in today's attack on congressional Republicans at a baseball field in Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, the shooter, as you saw there on the poster, the shooter is deceased. He's been identified uh, by the FBI as James T. Hodgkinson, a 66-year-old Illinois resident. Investigators are asking the public for information about him from anybody who might have known him or talked to him in recent weeks and months. They say that could include people from a wide swath of the country because the shooting happened in Alexandria, Virginia, but he's not from anywhere near there. He's from Belleville, Illinois, which is more than 800 highway miles to the west. Belleville is an outlying suburb of, of St. Louis. Investigators said today that he is believed to have been in Virginia, in the Alexandria area, since some time in March, possibly living out of a white cargo van on a local Alexandria street nearby the baseball field where the shooting happened today. That field, I should also tell you, is right next to the local Y, local YMCA. The Alexandria YMCA is so close to the ball field that a bullet from today's attack landed in the gym's swimming pool. You can see the bullet hole in one of the gym's windows there. It was at that YMCA that our next guest remembers seeing the suspect and talking to him frequently, several days in a row, just about every morning in recent weeks. Joining us now is Bill Ewell. He's a former mayor of Alexandria, Virginia. He works out at the Alexandria Y. He says he's had conversations with that suspect uh, in recent weeks. Mr. Mayor, I really appreciate you joining us tonight. Thank you, thank you for being here. Glad to be with you. Um, how did you realize today that this man who you've been speaking with, um, who you encountered at the local Y, uh, might have been the shooter in today's attack? Well, I was on my way to the Y this morning to do my w w daily, weekly workout from Monday through Friday. And um, uh, prior to leaving home, just five minutes before, I started getting text messages from folks saying, hey, uh, are you all right? And I said, why? What's wrong? They said, well, there's a, a shooting incident near the, in the area of the Y. So I got in my car, called the Y, make sure things were OK. And they said, no, we're in lockdown. And then I, I arrived on the scene and stayed there for a couple hours. And then uh, a couple hours later, I get a phone, a text message from one of the staff members uh, informing me that um, he said, you and I know the killer. And I said, I was shocked. So I called him and I said uh, to him, I said, what do you mean? He said, he's the guy that's in here every morning on his laptop. And so more than a month and a half ago, I encountered him as a new member of the Y. And as I finished my routine workout and having coffee, citizens, residents walked by and they said, hey, Mr. Mayor, how you doing? We miss you. And then others would say, hey, can I talk to you about a, a, a problem I have? So they sit down and converse. And then the next day he approached me and said, hey, are you really the mayor? And I said, yes. And so we got to know each other from that point. Then it was, where are good places to go eat and dine in Alexandria for lunch or breakfast? Then it was like, hey, I'm looking for a job. Can you help me find a job? And I referred him to the city's website for a job, you know, a vacancy listing. And then I emailed him a job announcement for a safety uh, inspector's position. He said he, did, he was a home inspector. Uh, and so every day, routinely, as I go into the Y, I would encounter him either having his coffee on the laptop, I sit at a table next to him, I'd be doing my thing with my, uh, on my iPhone and coffee, occasionally encounter him in the locker room as he's coming out of the sauna, but uh, never really witness him physically exercising and working out. Then I concluded recently that this is odd that this gentleman is here every day, he seems like a loner, uh, and then in the locker room last week, I noticed when his gym bag was wide open while he was in the shower area, um, it looked like all of his personal belongings, his clothes and books and everything were in this gym bag, which is unusual. So in my own mind, I concluded, well, may maybe he's someone that's homeless. And uh, so, but I never approached him about it to talk about it. But, you know, we never got into heavy, heated political conversations other than the fact there's a TV on when you walk in, the main entrance uh, of the Y. And... Uh, you know, other folks, and among my, including myself, we would be having conversations about, um, you know, whether the president was whatever he was doing or whatever they were saying about him tweeting that was an, the right thing to be doing, and or um, others would comment about, hey, Congress just needs to get their act together and let's just start working on behalf of the citizens. But he never chimed in, uh, hmm. for, pro or con, other than to just simply say, I agree, I agree, and um, I, I, I've been. 
telling folks all day uh, he seemed calm. He seemed um, uh, uh, very, uh, uh, you know, well uh, uh, organized. Uh, he spoke very well. He was very respectable. He even a couple of weeks ago started bringing donuts and cookies into the Y uh, for others to share hmm. while, you know, as they were walking by. So I. My conclusion was that this was someone that was troubled. Something was certainly burning and boiling on the inside of him. And um, upon arriving to the scene this morning, my only conclusion was, not knowing at the time it was him, that this apparently was a targeted event simply because the baseball, the congressional team, um, has played on this field at Simpson probably several times a month for the last four or five years and never encountered any problems or circumstances. Then I learned that he was in the Y this morning um, briefly and as he ex after he left, within a couple minutes, that's when everyone started hearing gunfire. And Mr. Mayor, w when you say that the team has used that field uh, frequently, um, was it known specifically that that was where the Republicans practiced? There's, I mean, obviously, as we're looking into I, I, to motive here, whatever this attack was was driven by, that people are talking about his political views, his political expressions, uh, to try to figure out if this was a politically motivated attack against Republicans specifically. Was that was that widely known or ever discussed? Uh, not with me, and I think he never had that conversation with me because he knew, you know, he knew, you know, knows that I'm the, not only the former mayor, but you know, very <laughs> well placed in the community. Probably didn't want to have that conversation with me, but he did have it with, I understand, some other staff folks at the Y. Mm. Uh, he inquired about who this team was, and then he said, "Are they Democrats or Republicans?" They said, "Well, they're Republicans." Uh, and so, again, whatever his his anger and frustration was, uh, he uh, strategized that today was the opportune time to. Do what he needed to do, Mr. Mayor. Just one last question for you. Obviously, the FBI has put out this this statement to the the public, appealing for people who might have information about him. I assume that you expect you'll be speaking with either local law enforcement or the FBI about about your encounters with him. I, I do expect that. Uh, uh, not uh, today. I've been doing interviews since maybe 11 a.m. Hmm. But I would expect um, them to be making contact with me tomorrow. I know they were talking with YMCA staff today as well. Bill Yule, the former mayor of Alexandria, Virginia, who has ended up being, um, coincidentally, a remarkable witness to um, this man before he carried out this attack today over the last few weeks. Appreciate hearing about it from you tonight, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. We've got uh, much more to come tonight uh, and after what has been just an unbelievable news day. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.